All right, gang. Happy Easter to all you guys. That's when you're seeing this video. Uh, we're getting ready to do some stuff here. Let me flip the camera around and show you what's going on next. All right, so last video we were down at uh, Performance Carbon down at Peter's place with the fiberglass and the carbon fiber stuff, and we dropped off all the parts. And now we're going to make another trip. So this is the car that we're going to be doing. I, I got a video of when we went to pick this thing up. I'll show you that later on. But So we got this other one. And we got another one over there. But So we're going to use this one as a donor right now. Not as a donor, but as like a fitment car. So we brought this back, down, back here on this trailer. That's how it was set up. The guy had it on a rotisserie kind of deal here. So we're going to flip it back over. Take it off of that. Mount it on another dolly that we have that our buddy Tom left when we did the when we did his fair lane He left that here. He didn't want it. So we're gonna put it on that so it could be rolled around We're gonna mount that body on that. Let me go show you what that thing looks like So we're gonna mount it on that thing right there And it, that'll be able to roll around in Pete shop And then we can roll it up onto the trailer and all that That's another one so we buy them because we need parts off them and we sell parts off them or whatever but we're going to use that one over there as a fitment car so pete can put the fenders on we don't we won't have to mount the doors but he could if he wants to but we just want to mount the fenders and the hood and the bumper and all that fitment stuff like that so let's get this thing down and move it out of the way So we dug this thing out, we put the trailer, we're going to put it on the trailer when we're done, but the trailer needs tires before we, if it was staying here, no problem, but too long a trip. So we're going to go get tires for the trailer tomorrow. The problem is it's going to rain tomorrow, so we're trying to do everything tonight, or at least everything that we need to do outside tonight. So I already changed the ball, so go ahead. Okay. Pick this thing up now. What? Take it down just like this? I don't think so. We gotta flip it over. The wheel wells are full of water. Yeah. Those are nice quarter panels. Show you what we might be doing with that later too. So those were gonna be the lower quarters I was gonna use to patch that car up. So that quarter panel right there is for the other side, obviously. But this one, we were going to patch up two quarter panels like I did on that red. Yeah, let's dump the water out here. That's good. That's good. Okay, so as you could see. These quarters are really nice. This boogered up stuff is nothing. You can make a new lip there. This is the spot that's difficult. You got a nice one there. The other side is almost the same. You're talking about patches, so patches is nothing. We'll fix that thing right up. thing everybody says oh it's sitting like that it's all messed it's up it's already welded there's 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 it's Don't too worry. heavy welded come on let's go that's american steel yeah. <laughs> 
Get it over this way. This way, if we got to get the trailer out, then we can stick this in there. Spin it this way. Come on. Come on. All right, that's good. That's good. Hang on, hang on. That's good, right there. Put it down on the, put it down the concrete, it don't matter. Put the long forks on that, and then we'll pick it up in the middle, and then I'll hook it. So show them the underneath and the inside. If anybody wants this body after we're done. I could have tilted it well, in actually, air, yeah. But. If you guys want the body after we're done, well, I'm probably going to show If the forks weren't technically bent, because they, they, they bent them a little bit the first time, yep. then yeah. yeah. So this car was actually supposed to be the donor car for that yellow one, or the yellow one was the donor car for this one, actually. Right. Yep. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Here, Anna. Huh? It ain't moving. Come on. We're gonna move the trailer and put that under. What do you mean? Well, get in the light. Just move it over that way. Leave it right there. Leave it right there. All right. I gotta cut the other two clamps off the back, just and then we can. The clamps off of it. And then... yeah. If somebody wants to buy a trailer. There's no title to it, but you know, you can title it as a homemade trailer. It was for a boat or something. No, it was a boat trailer. So, these don't line up with anything on that car, so we're just gonna hack them off and lay, the, lay it right down on flat on it, and then we're done. getting late but we're trying to beat the rain so we're gonna we got the uh those tabs got them cut off we set it down flat on two four by fours got the fender off on the trailer 
We're gonna set the whole thing down up on the trailer, tie it down, and then we're gonna back it into the shop. And then we'll be ready tomorrow. I can't see nothing. So. You're good. All right, let me give my hand. All right, well, we loaded everything up. We're ready to go. We're actually just stopped for gas. Our first quick stop by the house here. Um, it did rain pretty much all day. So we had this all done last night and strapped it all down. We just didn't finish video anything because we were trying to get it all done. So we are all strapped in, ready to go. Got some new tires on it this morning. Yeah. The spare, yeah. Made sure all the grease fittings are all good. All the wheel bearings are all good. So we're on our way. We'll check in with you guys on the, when we get down there. Show you how everything's going. Look at that. Still driving it. I don't see that every day. All right. Welcome to North Carolina again. All right, so we got here. Beautiful day out today. Now we're gonna unload this thing. We're on the platform here. I need one of those. Peter, we're gonna Peter's here. here to get on so we got a. Uh, he's got a nice forklift we could use. So we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take the fender off, scoop it up, pull the trailer out from underneath it, and put it down. And then we can just roll it inside. So and then we'll show you what he's got going on in here already with all our stuff. Come on. Right, come over this way. Do a uh, shift on the forks. Hey. Hey. Go back and get over this way more. But the forks should be able to shift that way too. Yep, you're good. Go ahead. You're good. You're good right there. Down. All right. So we got it back in here now. This is going to be its new home for a little while. This is just a body that we're going to use to mount the fenders. And he, this way he can trim up the bumper and the fenders and make it all fit like it does on my car. So without something like this, it's obviously difficult to make it fit right. But now that we have this, this is a perfect part to do it on. So we know this is all stock. We know nothing was hit. This car was never smashed. It looks like crap, but it's good. It's actually a really solid car. So maybe when we're done with it, if somebody wants it, somebody interested in it. So it was a four speed car. Yeah, this one the, so, the tags and everything. I'm probably gonna if I mean the worst scenario is I'm probably gonna take these quarter panels off and use the lower sections to, to fix the, the car that we're actually the cyclone that we're doing. No, because if you could see, the whole lip is still there. So it's just a matter of patching it. Um, the outside skin is all I need. And that's all there. Oh, big nest that was in there. Yeah, look at that. That must have been up on top of the wheel well, because I didn't see that. Yep. Oh. All right. So we're going to take a little walk over here and see what he's doing now show you what he's got going on with some of our parts he's already doing all right so start making some flanges and he was just showing us so this is what gorilla glue if you could see that yellow and that's like regular hot glue <laughs> they don't want to stick to the metal it's a trade secret so you're welcome <laughs> usually charge for these secrets <laughs> so, That's so 
We, won't you give like a rough explanation? A, a rough explanation why? of what, what you're doing. All right, so we're setting up the pieces now to make our first mold, and I add this perimeter flange all the way around because it works as a workspace. So we add a flange, and it gives us a crisp trim line to know where to trim our part at. And then we also, since we're doing a vacuum bag process, mm -hmm. the mold will be the inverse of this. And then our double-sided tape for the vacuum bag will stick to the portion of the flange. And then inside that, we'll run a perimeter vacuum line in that. So best to have the flange, because if you don't have a flange, the perimeter vacuum line would have to run on the part. And that will print through the part, and you'd see it on the outside. So, yeah. And then yeah. when you're ready, when you make a part, and you get it out of the mold, if you don't have a flange, you're beating on the part to get it out of the mold. But if you do have a flange, you can just beat on the flange to get the part out of the mold, because you gotcha. run the part a little excess. Right. So I would okay. wedge the flange, and then the part just falls out instead of damaging the part. Just Mm -hmm. Everything okay. just easier for the mold, everything like that. But um, yeah, every single mold I make is set up like this. There's probably easier material you can use, but I love the way this contours and shapes. So. Oh yeah, nice and thin. Yeah, makes sense. So uh, I this is a multi-piece. It's allowed to be multiple pieces that separate. So that's what we're working. Well, on we're right basically now. we're basically gonna watch him work on this one part. They already started on the other yeah, parts. Yeah, I'll, I'll show. I'll go. I'll show you a little bit of this one. After yeah. All right. So this is the trunk. So this is where your vacuum vacuum line bag would be so after you mold everything together right so you have your flange so then you would have this as a reverse side so this would be your bottom and then the top of it would be your flat molds and then he leaves extra so this is actually this is kind of thick so you can actually even block it down a little bit after but this is the bottom so don't don't go nuts thinking oh that this is gonna be the top no that would be the bottom portion, and it's the inverse. And then the bottom piece of the trunk is going to be made separately. And then it gets bonded together. See? So that's why you leave your space, though, so that way you have something to work with. Alright, so we're tracing it out because this has, I don't know if you can see this so on the curved, video, this, this is way. curved. Right, the top of the fender's got the... Well, we're getting, on, getting a line. Got our shop help here. And you're gonna glue it all on. Now I'll make one edge real clean. One edge will be gluey nasty. I'll make the top piece, clean the bottom side off, and then it'll be real sharp and crisp, and then the bottom I'll be able to make right to that one. So yeah. that's the plan. We're sticking to it. So they're gonna be so this is gonna be in two pieces so you can get the, the mold, mold. Be in two pieces. right the mold the your part is in one piece but your mold is in two so you can take it apart Otherwise like it a shell out. yeah, yeah then then it'll be stuck in there yeah. so we're gonna do that process that's gonna go around the whole lip then we're gonna figure out. Pete's gonna figure out how he wants to do this inside for the mold. The same thing, that's gonna need a face to come off of it so that it doesn't get stuck in there. So the nice part about these, the way he's doing it, is this fender is gonna be just like a stock fender. Yep. You'll be able to bolt it on in all the regular spots like you bolt a stock fender on. And then the race ones that we're gonna do are be lighter. They won't have all the structure on the inside and stuff. Yep. It'll just be super lightweight although these will be light but they'll be super light I don't know if you can say that I think it's a copyrighted term yeah mm -hmm. super, super light super, super light. light isn't that a car <laughs> no, that's something. something hey just come on I want to show you guys something so if anybody's looking I, I advertised these before but that's a real There's, chrome from 2007. I have two just like that. We took this out of the wrapper just so he can make a mold out well, of it. We have another one in the wrapper. And I have another one still in the wrapper. So anybody oh. needs a front bumper? They're both after, for sale. After we, yeah, they're both for sale. After we make the mold, then you'll be able to buy both of these. They're 800 bucks each. Okay? Plus whatever it is to ship them or just come pick them up. One's going to be here in North Carolina. The other one will be in uh, New Jersey. So you can pick one up from yeah. whatever place you need. South Central and yeah. Northeast and same thing with the parts. We're probably gonna do all, all the same thing with the parts. We'll have parts here and up north. And then yep. you could probably meet us at the tracks or somewhere where we're gonna be. But 
that's a beautiful bumper like really nice it's dirty and it looks like that yeah you know? <laughs> all right so that's one's tacked on you make it's got little shelves in there for some support and then you were saying this all gets clayed on afterwards the you seams a the, seams. yeah make it real nice and tight that way no gel coat seeps past it the idea is to make this flange as tight and as crisp as possible that way when the two pieces of the mold are bolted together you can hardly tell there's a seam in between the two so i'm taking my time right now to make this absolutely perfect and that's what i'm doing yep Come here, dog. Come here. Hey. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> he can go right in the kennel. Come here, buddy. Got his bone. Perforating the edge. Did he? Oh, I thought he just took this. Ah, oh, no, 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 not, not your pen. Ah. Oh. Uh, good pen. Too? Yeah. No, no. Let go. Let go. All right, it's still good. <laughs> just the uh, clip broke off of it. Can you go to your kennel? Kennel. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I got. I got the pen right here. Yeah, so now I'm just making a glue flange. This is going to be angled. Right. So I cut little teeth. And that makes it easy to fold each little... I'm really giving you trade secrets right now, whoever's watching this video. We're going to charge your bill later. secrets. So then you in You better here. like and subscribe. Right? Am I actually supposed to say something like that? Yep. <laughs> so look, so I've done all that, right? Because I want this piece to be like this. So now it's going to grab that nicely and keep that angle. And then I can glue to that. This needs a little bit of curvature up here. That way everything stays formed. Yeah, that way it keeps it formed. Just like and that. And we're looking somewhere in there. And it ain't going to be easy, you know? Yeah, I don't like that pitch because this is going to be too tight in that corner. So I think I'm going to chop it. Make two. And then I can change the angle again. Got it. Okay. I like this here because I'm going to come here like this. So I don't want to be like this. That'd be too boxy. I want something that's easy relief. you got to be able to take it apart. Yeah. So I'm it's weird. You're there. looking at everything like... Yep. you got to take sure you're thinking way ahead of the game. Yes. I only know to think ahead of the game like this because I've made the mistakes and said, oh, I don't want to do that again. You know, so I kind of reference to my, my prior mistakes, how I'm going to do things. I'm going to do that for everything, right? And I'll do that for everything almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how life works. Yep. And then we'll go all the way, same thing, around, around the edges where it's all curved, just like up there. He's getting this complex corner figured out. Cause our his thinking too, so when you put the bumper on for the with the spoiler, most of this gets cut out. So it's gonna be two separate piece thing. So when yeah, in the mold, we can swap them out. So one piece it'll already be cut for the bumper. And then the other one will just be for stock, and then it'll all, it'll be in the mold anyway, so it's, it's still going to be all one piece, but the one that needs to be cut out, it could be swapped as a mold piece. I'm going to take some of the bend out of this. Okay. I'll, I'll hold it wherever you want, though. Let me put, right, this, let me put this down. Alright, so we got this fender all set. It's 
going to be two pieces. Got Joshua helping out. Like our garage. You come here, you Exactly work. what I was going to just say. Don't <laughs> just stand there. Do something. Anyway, so now, so now we're going to prep the bumper. Start doing that also. And then he's going to... What are you going to do? You're going to... Um, do all three things at one time, what were you going to do? Yeah, Yeah, when we're done, probably. Best for use, utilization of wax and gel coat. Mm -hmm. Do it all at once. Yeah. you got to do that chair, too. So. Yeah. But not today, though. We can do this stuff. All right. What's up, buddy? Hmm? Dog. Maverick. A good name for a dog. Right, buddy? Yeah. All right. I'm going to start working on this bumper. Same thing, making a flange all the way around, release flange. All right. All right, continuing on. So we got all the rest of the flanging done on the sides. Like that. And start it on this bumper. Same thing with the bumper. These will be all tied together from the back. They'll be all sealed off. Got Josh doing flanging work. It'll all look like that. Takes a lot of time, man. And you got to be really particular. You got to go slow. Take your time. Make sure it all comes out nice. So it's got no gaps. Like that, nice and clean. Like everything else, the better you prep it, the better the final product is gonna be. So what he's doing now, he's plugging all the holes, all these holes for the moldings and the trim. And then we're gonna fill them. He's gonna make a template. So I'll show you that hopefully before we leave. We're gonna make a template for the holes and then the holes will be filled so you don't see any holes at all. And then if you want holes, lay the template out and he'll mark them for you. All right. All right, so now we're prepping a 64 and five Falcon front and rear bumper. So these are molds that we had from way back. Pete's cleaning them up. We're going to lay out a couple of bumpers. Josh was over here. Okay. That's going to be the trunk. So this is the mold. It's in one, two, three, four pieces to make that front bumper. That's the buck for it. So this is going to be the mold. It bolts together. It's got sides, top and bottom. And then when you lay it out, Go the other way, gonna yeah. lay it over. Flip, flip, flip it over. So that's the inside of it, right? And that's gonna be the, uh, I guess, the reverse of whatever you're thinking, and it comes out looking like that. So I'm gonna do one of them. Have a couple of these pieces made up. So start taking orders pretty soon. I brought the other hood down. So that's the flat hood that I had on my car from way back, way back. We're going to make one of those just flat like that. No bubble, no nothing, just a flat hood. All right. Now we got the mold bolted together. Right? It's clamped and bolted in all the spots that it needed to be bolted up. So the bottom gets bolted up. And then where it all gets put together, there's obviously a seam. Look, you see that little seam? And now what he's doing is he's putting clay in there to fill the gap, to fill that little crack all the way around, that seam all the way around, so it'll be nice and smooth when you take it out. And then we'll clean all that up. I'm getting there. These are ready to go. 
Got black gel coat ready. We're almost done with this. Look at the holes filled in. Got the little holes filled in with the bumper mounts and the bumper bolts. We're doing the opening for the license plate in the front now. And then we're going to seal all this off. Getting there. All right, these are the other parts that are getting made. Same thing. So these are the back. These are the front cones or whatever you want to call it. The front header cones for the fenders. Those are the back ones. Same thing. They get the flange all the way around. So he's making the back so they can get bolted on and everything. Pretty cool. All right. Our relief helper showed up. Russ, he's on video. What's up, Russ? All right. All right. We'll see what he's doing with that, right? And then it comes out to a really fine line. He's just looking to really just take up the little gap. So we made the end caps. Because on my car, we noticed that it's like open. It kind of looks awkward. So we're going to close those two little corners off like that and the inside will get the wax the same way and good to go these are almost ready so we're actually gonna take off and he's gonna finish up what he's doing ended up spending yesterday and today with him hanging out doing whatever so that's the process Wish we could have stayed and watched the rest of it, but we'll catch the rest of it. Maybe uh, you could do some video in and I'll put it up here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, cool. So, all right. Let's see what that happens with that. If not, we're going to end the video here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep watching so we know, uh, you know what's going on with the parts and when they'll be available.